Hi, and welcome to the Felder Group. Today I'd like to show you the easy setup of your Felder G330 edge bending machine, the new space saver in your workshop. The machine was designed for workshops with limited space, but also for high quality demands. The Felder G330 is the smallest machine on the market with a professional chain feeder and with high frequency motors with a speed up to 12,000 revolutions per minute. Because of the compact pallet dimensions, this machine is easy to transport even through doorways. The setup can be done by you easily and in one hour. Let's see. There are certain conditions to be aware of regarding the air supply. 150 liters per minute, 7 bar constant air pressure, minimum hose diameter of 10 millimeters, hose length no longer than 10 meter, and the air must be free of water and oil. To achieve that, we recommend the use of our oil separator. Your dust extraction unit should have a capacity of 2000 cubic meter per hour and provide a minimum airspeed on the machine dust extraction port of 20 meters per second. The diameter of the hose connector is 120 millimeters. For this unit we recommend our standard dust extraction units AF14 or AF22 as well as our clean air systems RL125. There is a cable tie used as a transportation lock that has to be removed. Here in this box you find a couple of hardware components including all setup tools and a grease gun. Make sure that the machine cannot rock by inserting the leveling screws. Please note, the electrical connection should only be done by a certified electrician. He should also supply you with the right plug. Let him pay particular attention to the right rotation direction of the chain feeder. As opposed to the European version in the US, the blue wire is not needed. Only the three faces and earth have to be connected. The overall power consumption of a G330 is 5.5 kilowatt. For this, the electrician has to define the correct size of the main breaker in your workshop. Now it's time for the initial setup of your control panel. First, you have to select your language. Therefore, hold the reduce temperature button for at least 5 seconds. Then select your language by pressing the plus or minus buttons. Set your language with the button below. Then confirm and escape with the off button. The same procedure applies to when changing metric into imperial dimensions. There is already some glue in the glue pot. The recommended glue temperature is 195 degrees. Please always check the technical data sheet of your glue supplier. If you don't operate the machine for more than 15 minutes, it will automatically reduce the working temperature down to a pre-selected value. If you hold the working temperature button for more than 5 seconds, your Felder G330 will show you information about operating hours, lubrication intervals and odometer for the edge consumption. Every aggregate can be engaged or disengaged independently. Always use the workpiece support in its fully extended position. When working with an edge bending machine, the most important thing is the condition of the panel. For a perfect result, you need exact 90 degree angles all around the corners 
and between surface and edge. Above all, the workshop and the material temperature have an influence. We recommend a minimum working temperature of 18 degrees. Let's continue with the machine now. Here you set the pressure beam to the desired panel size. The Felder G330 offers a very easy method to set all aggregates according to the edge tape thickness. Instead of using conventional bolt and screw adjustments, the Felder is set with an original piece of edge tape. That means you cut off three short pieces of your edge material, put it onto the pressure zone, and onto the top and bottom of the trimming unit. That's all. The capacity of the glue pot is 1.2 kilos, enough for about 200 meters of edge tape on a 19 millimeter panel. For the adjustment of the top edge guiding, insert the edge tape, move the top edge guiding till it touches and then go one turn back. After that, pull the edge back to the entry point of the pre-cut guillotine. This is always the starting point for any type of work. This is the perfect result that you can expect from the Felder quality control system. However, there might be some changes that you want to make about the machine settings. We would like to show you a number of possible solutions. In the following examples, we have highlighted the most common adjustments and we will show you how quick and easy it is to make them. In order to offer you a better view to the machine functions, we have filmed all processes with an opened service door and with deactivated safety features. If the edge seems to be too short on the infade side, it was either the wrong start position at the guillotine or the pressure of the top guiding here and here was too strong. However, if the pressure is too low, which means there is too much play between edge and guiding, this will be the consequence. This is a perfect result. The glue is applied equally all over the full height. If the bonding is inappropriate or the aggregates and the workpiece become smudged with glue, the amount of the applied glue is either too low or too much. You would have to adjust the glue quantity with this knob. Turn it fully into the minus position and then open about two turns into plus. That's it. This is a classic example for incorrect right angles on the workpiece. The trimming unit either cuts into the panel or the edge remains too long. However, if the workpiece is perfectly cut and you still are not happy with the result, you may have to adjust the copy pads of your trimming unit. Here you find the two screws for the front and here for the rear cut. How do you adjust the trimming unit? Don't forget to deactivate the glue scraping unit if installed. These three examples show you results of different setups of your trimming unit. Ideally, you check the correct setup with an edge tape 
that matches with the radius of the installed cutter head. In other words, if you use a 2 mm radius knife, you should use also a 2 mm edge material. First you set the horizontal position. This can be done by loosening the lock nut and adjusting the thumb nut. It works independently for standard edges or for thin material. Secondly, the vertical position can be adjusted with this Allen screw. The adjustment process for the bottom trimming unit works exactly the same way. If your machine is equipped with a flush scraping unit, there is an easy adjustment method for this. The flush scraping unit can either cut too deep into the material or there is too much glue left on the surface of your workpiece. Therefore, you can unlock this screw and in making an adjustment using this knob, you either set the knife to a higher or to a lower level. Heat the glue to the working temperature. Insert two wooden batons, leave it to cool down completely and then warm it up again. As soon as the glue detaches itself from the Teflon coated walls of the melting pot, remove the glue with the two wooden batons, then refill the pot with fresh glue and wait till it's completely melted and you are ready to go. Cut off three pieces of your edge material. Then insert your edge. Additionally to the top guiding you can now adjust the ring fence on the pressure roller. Now change the edge material on the pressure unit and on the trimming units. Please note, there is a second position for thin material, as you can see. This is a perfect result, don't you agree? Your Felder G330 is also capable of processing up to 3 mm of solid wood edges. Therefore, you have to pre-cut the strip 20 to 30 millimeters longer and 4 millimeter wider than the workpiece. Now set the edge feeding zone and pressure unit as shown. Then set the trimming unit to flush trimming by removing the edge pieces. What's most important don't forget to disengage the flush scraping units and also turn off the pre-cut guillotine. Wow, that's another proof of the versatility of the Felder G330. If you are on the market for a professional glue bot edge bender with chain feeder that has high frequency motors, quick and easy to set units, flush scraping or buffing units, and all of that in the most compact space saving chassis, then you definitely should give the Felder G330 a closer look. Thanks for watching and enjoy your edge bending.